like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. I say, I touch lanes and mustangs to call giddy up. Yep. I make sure that the next time he fall, the Lord, Lord pick him up. up. Big Drake, want the smoke, I keep the L on. Uh -huh. Kill him with a saw like a snail, I keep the shell, shell on. Me. Call the homie for the fish scale, he dropped drop the whale, whale on me. Yeah. Get wild, no reptile, I keep a scale yeah. on. The rock back, the rock slap like Chappelle bell on. Yeah. Work powder, church tower, keep a bell, bell on. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Be magic. We need to talk. Be mother magic. So, I got an issue, and here's my issue, you know what I'm saying? I will tell you in, in one second, and no, the second is now. Why the hell are you snapping like this? Bro, B-Magic versus Coach Coleone and B-Magic versus Pass. That happened a little second ago. Y'all might have, you might have missed that. But B-Magic versus, watch that battle and listen to the material that he has and how he is wilding. ARP. You need to keep B Magic in the blue room. I don't care how you do it. I don't care what he wants. He needs to be there. Bro, I went into the battle, because uh, this is one of the joints I didn't see. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be on color people time. When I got there, I had just missed this battle. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Atlanta, traffic, airport, TSA. If you know, you know. I watched it last night, right? And I ain't got no lie for lie for lie for lie for lie. This is not that. I'm just telling you what I saw. I saw a B Magic in a form that I hadn't seen him in a while. St. Louis Truers, you know how we be moving the dogs. I be shooting at you with your little unit of yours to keep the beef fresh. I got something aluminum for it. the old school shit. Like he was wilding. And I'm like, why isn't this pop B Magic? Yo, yo, I know you're going to see this. My shit's reach, B. You are going to see this. If not, you'll send this to him on Instagram. Send this to him on Twitter. Tag him. Make sure that he sees this. I want him to see. I'm going to send this to him myself. I want you to see this. You're way too nice. You're way too nice to just be settling for the way your career has been going. Now I get it. URL might not be the place for everybody. Everybody doesn't succeed on URL. I seen Big K go over there. It wasn't the best. He's on uh, RBE doing his thing. I seen you go over there. You had successes in your career. You've had lows. But there is absolutely no reason why you should be floating like this. I mean, because people was, I, I tweeted it last night, right? I, was, I tweeted your bars when I was riding. I had seen it. And it got like 12,000 views overnight. Which let me know that people are still interested in you. But you need to be interested in you. Did you see Hitman Holler's reactions? Who's from St. Louis right behind you? They will support you if you want your sh. But the reason why I don't really see a lot of the St. Louis really, really embracing and really, really pushing and wanting B Magic to continue to be at a legendary level is because of the inconsistency. You be consistently inconsistent. That's the one thing you've been consistent at recently is being inconsistent. But I promise you, if you were still smoking sh and taking every battle serious and really, really showing up when it's time to play, this would not be the question. You would definitely be in the same breaths as the St. Louis legends, the verbs, you know what I'm saying, Hitman, Young Ill. You supposed to be there. You should have a want. You should want to be there. And I understand you battle against Coach Colio. Coach Colio, this is like one of the first or second battles I really, really sat down and watched all of it. I do think you got some shit. Uh, I do like the fact that, you know, you was able to dance with a B-Magic. I got B-Magic winning. I'm just going to tell y'all now. I know what I was told when I got there. I heard what was said that B-Magic got smoked. I did not see that. I seen B-Magic probably win 2-1. I'm just, y'all can jump in the comments and say what you want, it, it is what it is. But I gotta call, I gotta call it so I can't spoil it. It was way too much gas. Bricks, is it bricks? Bricks, bricks, bricks! Bricks!
Huh? All white bricks. All white bricks. White tan bricks. Off white bricks. Just hit a lick for 50 more bricks. Bricks. I understand y'all support y'all own, but my nigga, this gas, like, we, as far as like the media and the fans, we are well trained and well vested. We can catch what's warranted reaction versus unwarranted reaction. I'm just gonna tell you now. You are not gonna help your friend, you're not gonna help your colleague, you're not gonna help your comrade by over embellishing their bars. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna happen. They're gonna call it out. I've seen all in the comments. I went to look through the comments, you know, I'll be re-watching the battle, you know, the comments be on and shit like that. And one of the first comments that I seen was the gas for coach is nuts. That has 320 likes and 66 replies. That's one of the top comments on that battle. You don't want your battle to be led by comments like that. Now, I'm not saying I'm Coach Coleon, salute to the shot. I was just out there last summer. I might come back. I fuck with the shot. I love the shot. I love the Gold Coast area. I love Giordano's. I love the fucking Almighty. I love all the stores out there. My peoples is out there. Shout out to my girl, Nikki. I love Chicago. I'll be back. But this don't got nothing to do with that. Y'all niggas gotta call it across the board. And the reason why it be so obvious is because B Magic was wigging. He was getting some reaction, but Coach Coleon was getting reaction on every. I was like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. The reactions ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? It's cool when they do it, it's a problem when not do it. Book! I was like, it, it just didn't add up for me. I, and, 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 but I will say this he has pain coming up next. Pain is nice. I seen his battle versus bad news, uh, and he was fired. You know what I'm saying? You take, take murder outside and treat him like the nigga that shot you. Pussy, treat the nigga that shot you like the nigga that shot you. Then I went back and watched the Jay Murder battle and seen that bad news has said that to Jay Murder. It was a crazy flip. I fucks with it. That's a fire battle. I'm going to let that happen. But, uh, Coach Coleon, uh, I like your cadence. I like the way you put punches together. Uh, I like the fact that, you know, you are aggressive. You were getting your opponent sh like you was like, you know, you're right. Uh, he said, I throw him over there. What he said? He said, hang over and throw him over. And my partner asked me to help him with the hangover like Pedia like. Nigga, I'll snatch him. And Nino Brown style throw him off a bridge. Before I let go, immediate rights. My homie see me was like, hey, let me get a try. Then he helped me with the hangover like Pedia like. Nigga, I'm keeping him. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. It was good. Your material is fire. You're a good MC. I'm not taking nothing from you. The only thing I'm taking people from is the people that's there, that's, you know, doing a lot. I've been to a lot of battles before. I've seen a lot of battles before. I can, I can peep when I feel like, and I feel like it's a little too much. It's just saying. Blue Room is a feel though. The Blue Room is real. Salute to uh, ARP. Salute to Lauren Shots at RBE and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I seen um, ARPs. Uh, blog the other day, he was talking about the contracts and talking about shit like that. That's what he do. I respect it, but one thing I will say is that they ain't taking their foot off the gas. They just had an event where damn near every battle that I saw off of it was fire. Ill Will versus Hollow was fire. Rosenberg Raw versus Jag was fire. Big K versus AWOL was fire. QB versus Caution was fire. And now Coach Coleon versus B Magic. I watched it. I seen it come down my time. I said, oh shit, this one of the joints. And Pain versus Bad News. All of them joints was hot. And I watched this joint come, I said, hmm, I didn't see this when it happened. I I'm a simple man. I see a B-Magic battle, I click. Hold on, let's do that again. I'm a simple man. I see a B-Magic battle, I click. And I watch, and I'm entertained. It was amazing, great performance, but B-Motherfucking Magic. You should not be at this point in your career where I'm seeing vintage performances like this, but I don't get them on a consistent basis. You need to be consistent and do the, don't take five battles at a time. Maybe take one every couple of months. But that blue room, you could get some people in there. I know you can get some people in there and you will wild out because uh, you wasn't choking, you wasn't slipping, you wasn't stuck. Yo, the Spreewell line, son, what did he say? Oh my goodness, son, he had a line where he was talking about Spreewell, I won't choke versus the coat, yo. Go watch that battle, and then you could go there, watch that, and come back to these comments and let me know who y'all think won, and let me know how y'all feel, and let me know what uh, what what's the deal. Uh, I did talk to Ace Ami yesterday. You know, he was giving me some um, some clarity as far as the him and Calico situation. 
Uh, he was saying that Calico was talking about him on the live. He was talking about him, saying that he don't like him, talking about his name, talking about shit like that, talking about his battle ability. And he said that Calico was on some just pull up and rap shit, like not no crowd, not no none of that. And he said it wasn't going to be by URL. It was just, you know, maybe some street niggas with money or whatever the case may be that wanted to put them two together so they could rap. I can see that. I did tell Ace, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I support what you do and I love what you do because the thing is one thing about Ace, Ace is a good promoter, Ace is able to talk, Ace is able, he's got he's got some more shit coming. I can't even say what it is, but I'm excited to see it and I'm gonna give him that that shot. But he knows that when he put that video out, I was like, what the hell? Like I don't see this from a mile away. But I do respect that he appreciates his career and he appreciates the direction that he's going in and he wants to have that conversation with Calico. If people gonna put the money up, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna lie. I will watch it. And I did like, but the thing is, Ace, what I must tell you, all of the attributes that you were aim that you were talking about had nothing to do with battle rap. This nigga said I look better, I dress better, I sound better. No, he wasn't doing it like that, your honor joint. What he said, he was like, uh, I could get to a dollar quicker. Uh it, it kinda was like your honor, but he was like, I could get to a dollar quicker, I'm more athletic, I'll beat you up, I'll uh uh I can do a crossover behind my back and lay it up with the right or the left. I get it. But none of that shit don't have nothing to do with winning battles. I'm just saying. Your Euro and being able to lay it up, whether on the right hand or the left hand side of the rim, or being able to switch to the left, has nothing to do with you winning battles. I'm just saying. So, keep it consistent and keep it persistent, and you can do what you do. Uh, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in past. Do me a favor, don't be a stranger. Make sure you hit the like button, and then you can stay in tune with everything that I drop. I was talking a little fast today, kind of like Ace, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking, you know, my, my man Ace. Now you got me talking faster, you know what I'm saying? But the clipper blow, I ain't talking fast, you're just listening slow. That's how I see it. But uh, Magic, I need you to bring this performance more often. Um, you know, salute to every single one of y'all. Just got the win, I just got out of the gym, I was working out. Summer's coming, invest. All I would tell you is this, one hour a day is 4% of your day. You got 4% of your day to do some push-ups, Maybe go run, lift some weights. Summer's coming, you know what I'm saying? Just put a, a, a drop in the piggy bank every day. You know what I'm saying? I ought to take a water break, but I got other shit I got to do. Uh, salute to all the leagues out there. I did see some more battles coming up. I'll probably talk about them in another joint more in depth. Rum Nitty versus Sosa Flair is coming up. Uh, I think Chef Treads versus Twerk. I don't know all of the announcements. I've seen people who's like sending them at me and shit like that. And I'll give you my opinions and my thoughts about those battles in a quick second. But, uh, you know. It is what it is. Other than that, subscribe, gang. Be magic. I, I need that more consistently, though. You can't show up once every three years, do that, and then disappear for another two years. Like, come on, my nigga. And I hope you get... I'm going to send this to you. I am going to send this to you. It's on the way right now, my nigga.